Jones gave me this police pursuit vehicle. <laughs> Can you believe it? Look, I got the keys. <laughs> Five fifteen in the morning. We're in Kentucky, Louisville to be exact, and we're headed to Lexington. We're gonna be late. We have to go. We're on the eighteenth floor. It's pretty far down there. So let me check out of the hotel, and I'll tell you guys what's going on. I'm just gonna walk up. It's five in the morning, get a little exercise. I'm not taking the elevator. You guys wanna see my car while I'm in Kentucky? Let's see, good look. Standard vlog shot. Move the camera, then do what you just did again. So I'm up in Kentucky at the National Sheriff's Association. Uh, it's taking place in Louisville, like I said earlier. Was contacted by John Jones Police Pursuit Vehicles. They're the number one distributor or upfitter of police pursuit vehicles in the Midwest region. They contacted me, says, hey, you wanna come out, check out some of our vehicles, come to the conference? I was like, yeah, it's a no-brainer. So I'll, I meet John Jones. He says, hey, how you getting around up here? I said, oh, I'm just taking an Uber from place to place. He said, no, 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 I got something special for you. Handed me the keys, and there she is. So today, before the conference, we're gonna go head over to the John Jones Warehouse, uh, where they actually put together all these vehicles. They have a whole bunch of different police pursuit vehicles, and uh, we're gonna get a tour of the facility, which is super awesome. So I've got a couple stops before that. It's gonna be later on in the day. I'm gonna get going, not gonna vlog and drive, but I get to drive in this bad boy, and don't worry, you will see some sexy B-roll. Oh, yeah. Four minutes. <sighs> Smells so new in here. guys and we are arrival at John Jones police pursuit vehicles in Indiana Salem Indiana to be exact so here's what happened uh, I was contacted by John Jones they said hey man we really like the police cars episodes on YouTube wanted to show the Nod Squad how the police vehicles are put together John Jones uh, they are a one-stop shop with like upfitting and upfitting is basically hooking up all the equipment the police lights the sirens uh, camera systems you name it that anything that goes on a police vehicle they're the one-stop shop they said hey you want to come out and I said uh yeah we're supposed to be at the National Sheriff's Association convention oh, that's a lot of words but we snuck out uh, this I think this was a little more up our alley so why don't we get out and meet uh, Adam, who we're supposed to meet here. And then he's gonna give us the tour of the John Jones Police Pursuit Vehicle Facility. I can't wait, guys. First, take a look. It's like we've died and gone to police car heaven.
building, business, anything that has a door needs to have that over it. It's so beautiful. It's Mark, that's an American entrance right there. Hey, hey. what's going on? Welcome to John Jones Police Pursuit. Hey, man. Glad you could make it. How's it going? Good, yourself? Good. Great. Nice to meet you. You too. Say hello to the Nod Squad. Hey, Nod Squad. What's going on? What's going on? I want to say, first of all, outstanding Thank uh, decorations out here. Thank you. Phenomenal. Thank you. I'm digging it. Good. So, you want to give a rundown a little bit about the facility, about the business, uh, what you guys do here. I see police pursuit vehicles. I mean, that's kind of plain and simple, but is it only pursuit vehicles? No, no. We do, we do a lot of different things here. We'll do police, EMA, fire, rescue. We'll do about anything. So, anything that has lights? Everything has got lights. All right, that's what I like to hear. So uh, give us a rundown a little bit about the facility. Uh, are we gonna get a tour? You sure can. By the way, take a look at my ride, huh? Isn't I like that, it. Isn't that sweet? I like that. Right. You look good in it. <laughs> all right, the here. Shout out to Willie. I see you all the way up here at John Jones. This is our showroom here. Uh, we're a little bare at the moment. We got a couple of our cars at the National Sheriff's Association this weekend, but uh, we do have a Polaris that is up and ready to go. Nice. Is that a Pursuit Polaris? It can be. I want it to be. That it is. Yes. This is just some of the equipment that we actually install. Uh, consoles, sirens, laptops, roof bars, um, all the different lighting that we can use just kind of on display so the customer can have an idea. And over here we have Kaylee. Hi Kaylee. Love what you did with the place over there. Phenomenal decorations. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. All right. Since we're bare out here, I'll give you a behind the scenes tour of our upfitting facility. How's that sound? Hmm, I guess so. Yeah, of course. <laughs> right this way. Let's do it. Uh, uh oh. Hold on a second. Due to insurance regulations, customers are not allowed behind the yellow line. But Adam, I'm not gonna be able to see anything from over here. Look at those cars back there. How am I gonna see that? Hey, I got you. Raise your right hand. All right. I hereby solemnly swear you to enter the John Jones Police Pursuit Upfitting Facility. I do? That works. It's official. All right, Nick, we don't have badges here, but there is a couple things I'm gonna need you to put on. What are those? Is that the official John Jones uniform? Yes, sir, it is. I got the booties out. Oh, sorry, I'm having too much fun with these things. <laughs> As you can see by the shoes, we like to keep it nice and neat in here. Uh -huh. So I noticed that. Yeah. Uh, the good thing about John Jones Police Pursuit is we're a one-stop shop. As you can see outside, you can buy your car here. We pull it in, we can upfit it, and on a typical build, we can have you ready to go turnkey in, in a week. So I guess that kind of sets you aside from the other guys is that you got your cars ready to go out here on the outside. So as soon as they're done with that bill, bam, you come right in here and you start getting some work on them. Exactly. Nice. Before we take a tour, let me get some of these lights turned on for you. Awesome. All right, I got some of these lights turned on for you. All right. I'll give you a little run through of what we're doing. This here is a transport van that we've currently been working on. Uh, as you can see, we've upfitted it with a Havis cage. I'm digging the red lights. Those are the interior lights, but we also got exit lighting for when you're loading up. Oh my goodness, those are bright. They are bright. As you can see, not only is it upfitted in the back, but it's also upfitted up front. Uh, we've got some Wayland lights up front that we've done with a Havis console. Uh, it's a three camera system that we have in the back so you can check on all your prisoners. This one here, actually, we just finished it up. Uh, we actually detail our vehicles before we bring them in and then we detail them after we get them finished. Oh. So we're getting ready to take this up for the second detail. So super clean. Super clean. Ah, I like the shoes. I get it now, it's all making sense. <laughs> this charger here, we're finishing it up as well. Uh, it's not wrapped yet, but actually we do our own wraps here as well. As you can see, uh, we've had this installed on here. So you guys are truly a one-stop shop. One-stop shop. Head to toe. With window tinting. And Shoe covers. And the shoe covers. I'm gonna keep referencing those. <laughs> uh, just a few things on this one extra that we've done. Uh, we have window bars 
on this one as well, along with a dual vertical Pro Guard gun rack. Uh, this particular unit, they wanted mirror lights, uh, Wayland visor bar. So it's just customizable, whatever they're ordering. Whatever the like, customer. Hey. Yeah, there's so some, nothing too big or too small that we can put in that's there. That's what I was gonna ask you. Some are more, some are less. Yeah, exactly. Some, some, some are what we call Christmas trees. Exactly. <laughs> Durango here, it's an unmarked uh, administrative vehicle. Uh, it's got the Wayland light bar, Wayland visor bar in it. Uh, this one does not have the console. Uh, we're gonna wrap this one as well. As I stated before, we're a one-stop shop. Our parts room is in here. Uh, I try to stock, you know, 90% of everything that we would need, so it cuts down on the weight on the customer. Most of the things we actually do have in stock, so it makes it even better for them. And then I see you have, uh some cars here that look like they're already in service. Yeah, this is just a service call. We're actually upgrading the siren for them. Right. Uh, it's a local department here. So uh, you do, even if you didn't upfit them, you still? Correct, yeah, we'll do service work, not only on ours, but if on someone else's as well. This one here, we put a uh, ProGuard push bumper on it. Nice. Quick with the lights. They do make the option to where you have the wraps that come around and protect them. This particular vehicle here does not have it, but they are available. For here, uh, in the back of the Tahoe, we have installed a truck vault. We're a truck vault dealer as well. So we've installed a truck vault in the back of the Tahoe. So I like how you incorporated the lights up here on the door. Yes. So when you're working on the side of the road, you flip your hatch. And it shuts actually this one off here on a mercury switch. So if I hit this back, that makes sense because that won't be blinding you while you're looking. Now that one automatically comes on and those two automatically shut off. Wow, you guys are high tech. We'll go right this way. I'll show you some other cars that we've got. This here's a Charger that we've done. Uh, obviously, it's an unmarked vehicle. That way, it's completely lit up, front to back, sides. The junk in the trunk. Some people say I'm a little OCD, but I am. But this is some of the wiring that we've done. Um, this one here is equipped with a charge guard. It shuts everything off. After two hours, uh, which would be programmed anywhere from five seconds to and above. Uh, but this one here is equipped with a Wayland siren. It already has a radio. You can see a breaker and a fuse block is installed on every vehicle that we sell. So Adam, I already know the answer to this question because I know about the cars. You're a smart guy. But uh, where does all the power getting drawn from? Is there like an additional battery that you guys install or is it pulling just off the, the, the one car battery? I mean, that's a lot of juice, no? Yeah, it's coming straight from the battery. Uh, we run this fuse block here on every vehicle we have, so it comes straight to the fuse block. Everything is actually ran through here. Oh, okay. A little bit of how everything comes together. Uh, you'll see a front end off of the charger that we've taken off. Uh, we put everything on a, on a rack, that way the bumpers don't get scratched up. The uh, reason why we take the front ends off uh, to install the siren speaker and all the grill lights. Same concept with the Durango. After everything is taken out, we put everything on the trays, on the carts. Uh, keeps everything off the floor, getting scratched or damaged. Uh, once, it's, once it's done, we inspect it. Everything's great, we put everything back together. It's inspected again. Then it goes up to detail, out the door goes. Do you guys deliver? Uh, do you use Amazon? I mean, how does that, how does that yeah. work? Yeah, we really will deliver wherever you need it to be delivered to. Okay. Uh, if it's local, it might be New York, right. Texas, doesn't matter, we'll get it there. I wanna thank you for having me up here and thank John Jones for having me up here. This is an awesome facility uh, that we got to check out, the Nazco I got to check out. Um, now normally, at the end of the videos, when we visit police car -y stuff, we do challenge coin giveaways. We don't have any challenge coins, at least not yet. All right. But I do have some John Jones Police Pursuit Vehicle t-shirts. All right, so here's how it's gonna go down. Just the same way we do the challenge coins. I'm gonna link everything down below, like always. Uh, the steps will all be down below. So here it goes. Here's how you're gonna win. You're gonna have to go to John Jones Police Pursuit Vehicles on Instagram, here it is right here. Go to their page, follow, and then when you see the trailer to this video, on their page, comment done, and then you're eligible to win a John Jones Police Pursuit Vehicle T-shirt. 
The winner will be announced uh, a week or so after this video is posted, so stay tuned for that. And if you're not following them, you should go check them out. They got like content. Uh, it's police cars. So if you like police cars, you're gonna like their content. It's all police stuff. So again, man, Adam, thanks for the tour. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks for the boots. Can I keep them? You can have those. Awesome. So uh, guys, with that being said, I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. All right, my man.